cos squared a. So if I'm writing cos of 2a in terms of cosine only, I can switch this around. See, this actually equals this. And so this is sort of the beginning of, of proof. Cos of 2a equals cos squared a minus this right here. Minus 1 minus cos squared a. So this is huge. I've taken this and I've rewritten it as this. And now I can actually um, combine some terms, right? I can simplify and combine some like terms here, you see. And so I have cos squared a minus 1 plus cos squared a when I distribute these, uh, this negative. And that simplification looks like this. Cos squared plus cos squared is 2 cos squared a and then minus 1. So that's a way I can rewrite one of the identities using another identity, and that's what this whole chapter is about. So if we look back, that should be the same. Well, I guess it's right there. There's my red. Uh, it should be the same as this one right here. See that? And that's kind of how they do it. They substitute this for something else. Okay, any questions? Okay. I am going to give you your assignment. Uh, so just hang tight for that.